that the founder of Peloton, who's under fire for hosting a lavish holiday party, instructors and their plus ones were invited, but not other employees. So to make matters worse, the company recently imposed a hiring freeze and canceled plans for a company-wide holiday party in order to save money. After the backlash, the founder sent the staff an email saying it was a personal party for friends, family, and some Peloton instructors and not affiliated with Peloton in any way. Erica, you think this is a bad look? No. If people want to throw a personal party and use their personal dollars, they can make personal decisions as to who they're going to invite. I think it's always trouble when you, basically you're asking for a party audit. If you want everybody to be invited, then I would be as the party thrower be asking, well, your birthday was last week. Was I invited to your party? What about the event that you hosted and you paid for? Did you invite me? So people can make decisions about who they want to invite to a party. I don't see what the big deal is. I do have to say one thing here, and I know what you're saying and you've changed my mind a little bit, but Peloton made $11 billion last year. So? And they want to save money by not holding a very traditional American right ritual of having a holiday party that's fine but that's gonna bum people out and then to see he threw this lavish party the optics to me I would feel a little bit like ugh. but I get that his right to do so can both be true right I mean yeah you can be bummed I mean if you're not invited not, to the right. party of the year I've been like I don't know if I'd say bum but I can look at social media and be like dang that looked like that was a good time I don't even know those people you should have done both. you know like yeah I'm with Erica that you don't owe anybody anything when you have your own private party but in the grand scheme of things his company profited a lot last year his employees have a, are 90% of the reason why that occurred so reward them with a holiday party well I, I think both can be true, and I, I hate straddling the fence like that, but I think this could have been taken care of if he had used his words, if he had given a reason for why he was only inviting certain people. Is it completely true that he owed nobody any explanation for who he invited? Yes. But is it also true that there's an unspoken thing that a lot of Ameri yeah. American companies, I can't speak for other countries, do have a holiday party? That's People a look thing. People forward to it. It is a know? thing. Especially if you're no, successful. Yes. I and, get it. And if especially it was a rough after year. a rough year, yes. people kind of like look forward to the holiday. So if we're not having that, okay, I'm not happy about that. But then to also then turn your phone over and be like, the people that make seven times right, more than me right. also had a party? Again, Legal, yes. Fair, yes. Well within his uh, well within his jurisdiction to do, yes. But I do understand why they have some feelings about it. Yeah. So what if you hear that a hundred people were invited to the party and only ten of them or less were Peloton instructors who he might have a personal relationship with? Does that change your feelings about that would the change. fact that? That would change. Yeah. yeah. Because to me, it's just a situation where people see it on social media and they're like, well. That's not right for all of these reasons, but it wasn't a company party. No, he was, in, he was no, within his rights. Change, that would not change yeah. my feelings at all, because if you clearly like to throw parties, yeah. so if you clearly, within your own right, are going to throw your own personal party, then you should extend that to your employees if you think parties are so important during the holidays. Well, you're within your rights not to tip when you get your hair done. You're w within your rights, but, but is it's, that... It's not right. <laughs> it's, it's not legal. Right. I mean, you've paid what you had to pay, but right. like... Keep, that's not going to go great. Okay. <laughs>